you for stopping by my YouTube channel. I'm sure you know about my Instagram, because you probably can't get from there. At least in this first little uh, wave of YouTube followers I hope to get. I'm guessing most of you come from my uh, Instagram and a link that I provided. This will be my first uh, drawing video. I actually filmed another one before this. I filmed the pencils on this looping package. The problem is, instead of using my uh, fabric castell that I normally use to get a darker, uh, to get a darker outline, I wanted to try to do a more subtle outline, so I used this 20% cool gray Prismacolor, and it didn't come up very well. I watched back on the video, and you can barely tell like where I'm putting down a line. So I thought, you know what, that's going to be boring. But most weeks, what I'm going to do or aim to do is the pencils on a Monday half the color on a Wednesday and then on a Friday video finish up the colors and kind of finish the piece so that you can hang out with me you can draw with me and uh, see a piece finished I'm not sure how it's gonna work because I'm essentially trying to do these as like half hour videos so mm, we'll see we'll see how it works but right now I just wanted to uh, thank you for showing up and show you what I'm using today I'll be using a little bit of color pencil later but chroma my amazing sponsor has sent me these skin tone flagship uh, markers. If you're used to Copics, these work just the same as a Copic. Uh, you have your fine point brush tip, and you have your chisel tip. I rarely use the chisel tip. I mostly use the brush tip. Um, and this is the skin tone set. You can get a larger skin tone set, which I have, or you could buy the six marker skin tone sets that I actually helped uh, them design. I helped them um, figure out which markers to put in those based on how I work with them on portraits and on gray tones. So I'll be working with those here. As you can see, I also, uh, in an in, in unfortunate attempt to make, them, make the video, already started putting down some dark brown. I do work dark to light because I like to pull out the colors. It can be hard to do on a lighter skin uh, person in a portrait like Luke at Donkish, where there's a lot of pinks in there. I probably should go pinks first. I, I can also do that sometimes. But this this uh, video will not just be art talk. Uh, when we do these, I'll talk about the markers I'm using. I'll talk about the colored pencils I'm using. We'll, we'll probably do some like fun play videos where I use like Target color, Crayola color pencils or something. I've been uh, really fascinated. The last few times at Target, I look down the art supply aisle like I always do. While Nia looks at uh, makeup, and um, they're right next to each other, and right now at Target they have this fourteen ninety nine set of Crayola colored pencils, and it's only uh, yeah fourteen ninety nine. And the cheap artist in me says, "Hey, I wonder if I can do something with that. That'd be quite a value if I can manage to make a portrait out of it." The professional artist in me, who knows that Prisma colors are expensive for a reason. And I have a full set of prism colors that says uh, you don't really need that. But it'd be fun to do for a video, just pick up a set of those and just kind of see what a professional artist with a full set of um, Crayolas would do. So yeah, I lightly uh, brush those in. I can go crazy with it and end up putting every single little hair in. And I may do that now. But yeah, I, this isn't just going to be art talk. I'm, I want it to be like you're hanging out with your friend who is drawing with you uh, this would be a great i mean i don't know who would watch this if they're not artists but if you just want to see someone drawing that's great i welcome you to hang out and watch that too i'm kind of designing it for friends of mine who are or followers of mine who are artists who art is an isolated game it's uh you spend a lot of time you spend a lot of time alone uh in your studio at your desk at your lap desk kind of listening to music or putting on podcasts which is something i do to not feel alone and I'll put on the podcast, I'll put on largely uh, the EOC podcast, 11 o'clock comics, and I listen to the guys talk, and I've listened to over 650 episodes now. Uh, and you listen to it, and it's like you're hanging out with friends. And so I wanted to create something like that for artists. Because it's always fun to hang out with other artists. I've done that at Drink and Draws, where uh, you're just at a pub or you're at a restaurant, and you're sitting down, you're... Uh, having a drink or having some fries and you're drawing with your friends, you're seeing what they draw, you're picking up little trips, uh, tips and tricks. Uh, so I really want to, I really want to have all my artist friends out there who stop by to get something like that out of this, where you can just 
put the video on and uh, pick, up, pick up your drawing board and feel like we're hanging out in the same room doing a portrait. And I'll get better at this. Uh, right now, this is my first go. I'm not really, I've done one or two times where I will uh, go on YouTube, uh, Instagram Live and draw and talk. I'm not really good at that. Usually, like I said, it, it, I'm, I'm just an artist too, where it's like, I'm so used to being isolated. I'm so used to putting the uh, earbuds in and not talking, not really even thinking while I draw, kind of go in autopilot. So I'll get better at this. I'll get better at talking to you guys about the art. I'll get better about talking to you guys about what was going on in my day. For me, a big part of this too is, is kind of a mental health thing. Um, I, I think I have been spending too much time in, in isolation and not talking to people. And so it'd be nice to read your guys' comments underneath of the videos. Uh, I've never really used uh, YouTube except for like watching videos. So it'll be interesting to see who does comment and see if anyone takes time to watch it or comment. I really hope you do. Yeah, as you can see, I go a little bit dark to light, uh, pulling out the colors as I go. And I kind of freeform it, so like I got stuck down here in the neck a little bit. And see, the colors, when you're working with alcohol markers, you, it's, it's a lot of it is knowing how much the colors are going to dry later. So right now, some of this area might look like a muddied mess, but I have the good fortune of knowing how much some of this is going to lighten up. Especially when you go in and over with these markers. Another little trip, uh, trick with the alcohol markers is after you're done with uh, the markering, you can always go in with colored pencil and lighten it up, which I like to do. So now you're going to see me use my pink, my uh, RV93 chroma. And uh, Luca's in the middle of playing. His face is really pink. So I'm going to go in and put some pinks down. So that way when I go over it with the color, uh, skin colors, it'll pop underneath of it. And then I can always go in over top of it if I want to with some more. So... Uh, if you've been following my Instagram, you've known that for the last year I've really been using mostly uh, the chromas. If I accidentally say Copic sometimes, you guys know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I've been using the chroma uh, pretty exclusively. I was very lucky to have them reach out to me almost a year ago, well, over a little over a year ago, and say, hey, do you want to try my marker? Try our markers. We'd really love to send you a set to try out. And they sent me at the time the uh, chroma lights, which I have one of these right here. So yeah, they sent me a, a set of the Chroma Light skin tones, and I think they sent the black and whites first. Regardless, uh, I did some work with them. I really loved them. After a short time, I decided I, I really want to use these exclusively. I'm not going to lie and say like I don't ever touch a Copic, because we have them in the studio. And sometimes, like if it's just a like a certain color, like a navy blue, uh, I'll just use a navy blue to black out. But for the most part, I really, really enjoy using my uh, my chromas, and the fact is they do the exact same thing that the Copics do, and they're a lot they're a lot more uh, affordable. If you're an artist just getting in, I I would suggest that you go to uh, Chroma NYC on Instagram and go to their store, their web store, and pick yourself up some markers because, as you can see, you can do very professional work, and once you do a, a price comparison for set set by set with a uh, copic you just you'll you'll understand what i'm saying it's it, you you get much more marker for your dollar and that's something where as a professional artist myself like i don't necessarily have to worry about that like i could go out um before uh chroma was my sponsor i, I had a very close working relationship with uh copic and they would send me markers they would feature my artwork but my my whole thing was i would have artists uh reach out to me and say oh i just talked my mom into buying me uh, this Copic set and or hey I really want to get this Copic set and and the thought was that if you bought this Copic set like tomorrow you would you would just be able to put out a portrait the same the same quality as the one that I did and I always felt really guilty that uh, artists were putting in putting out that kind of much, kind of money on a marker set when the markers are great 
and alcohol markers can let you do things that you can't do with colored pencil. They can let you do things you can't do with other markers. But unless you have a certain amount of skill built up and a certain amount of hours put into drawing, you're not going to know necessarily what to do with those markers. So, went very pink here. So yeah, I always wanted to have a, a more affordable option for... Uh, that was not losing quality. So for years I tried other brands. I tried to come up with a brand that I could be sponsored by who did approximate what Kata could do at a much more affordable rate for other artists. And that's Chroma. And you really do not lose a thing, especially with the new flagship markers. The nibs are now exactly the same as uh, as a Copic marker. And I, I like the form factor actually so much better on a uh, Chroma. So much easier to open and close them. I don't know, they just feel better in my hand. Some mics be over here in the background. I don't know how uh, YouTube's going to handle it, so this, we may lose this whole entire video. <laughs> but uh, I'm listening to some Nico Case right now. I've got just my 2020 playlist. I do one every year. I have a 2020 playlist on while I do, while I do the drawing. And so when I get these done, I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on eBay or whether I'm going to put them in my big cart, my new uh, big cartel. So I'll update you at the end of the week what I'm going to do with it. That's fairly pink now. Now I'm going to bring some more pink down here just to make it match up. And that ear is going to be just nothing but pink. Okay, not nothing but pink, but we're going to put some pink in there. And there might be enough color on this one that we end up getting like a uh, three days out of it anyway. So we shall see. I'll also probably do some unboxings. I know I have a really nice new set that uh, Chroma has sent me. And now I'm going to use a Copic Multiliner uh, just to tighten up a line here. I just want to kind of see for myself kind of where I put my eyelashes. Kind of darken underneath it here. And um, I'm adding, putting a lot on my, on my my schedule, but I find keeping busy helps me out. I record a basketball podcast with my friends, Raf and Emmanuel. It's the Dream Team podcast on iTunes, and we record that usually on a Thursday. And then I edit it and put it up whenever I get it up. Uh, the portraits won't just be sports portraits. I'll do comic portraits. I'll do uh, faces. I will do pinups, uh, but I also want to keep this uh, all ages, so probably won't be doing my Sunday bum day portraits on here. Um, would be fun too. But again, I want to keep this all ages. And be warned, if you go to Naj Potra Artist on Instagram, it is it's not, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with uh, my teenage son, you know, seeing or daughter seeing the page. But I know some people might, uh, so just be aware. And see, now you can see it kind of uh, coming to life a little bit more. Put some darker brown in the ear here. Put some darker brown above the ear a little bit. I really like doing the pinks. I can do it. I've, I can easily do a full pink, whole pink portrait. If you look far enough down on my Instagram, there are a few good examples of where I've done a full portrait in just nothing but pink. I'll use like a little bit of magenta or uh, something to like mix it up, but then like two or three pink tones. Probably have to be one of those on this channel just to show you, but uh, so I can go wild with the pinks sometimes. For a long time, the uh, oldest marker in my uh, in my marker set was a Copic uh, RV11. Might have been an R, just an R11, but it was frayed way out. Finally, had to be retired. It just wouldn't even take color anymore. You could refill the inks all you wanted, and just nothing was coming out of that marker, out of that marker anymore. I left it in the marker set, kind of as like a security blanket. That could be a mental case like that. And when I say mental case, I don't mean it uh, derogatory to anybody. I'm, I'm bipolar. I'm fairly open about my bipolar, and uh, a lot of times the anxiety can get in the way of the drawing. 
Uh, you just gotta kind of ride it out. Taking my medication, which I take Vraylar. Um, I know a lot of people have different things that they take. I take Vraylar, and it works for me. Which makes me a little drowsy, which never helps the artwork. I always have to watch what I eat and uh, not intake too much sugar. Make sure I get enough sleep, which just I never do. Um, that's something that would probably could probably be improved a lot. I'm really excited about doing this channel. I really hope that uh, uh, artists get something out of it. I know for me, I've become a fan of YouTube in the last few years. Not even the last few years, last few months with the uh, pandemic. I probably didn't enjoy YouTube for anything other than listening to music and music videos uh, for a long time. And I missed out on a lot of like the fun, just the YouTube fun of uh, watching channels. Lately, I've been watching with uh, Niv. I've been watching um, the makeup tutorials. We'll, we'll put them on the studio. Um, she's doing her makeup uh, Instagram over at Neoderma, and there hasn't really been anything on, so we'll just put that on because you have to make compromises. But I, I found myself enjoying. Um, I forget who the person that we watch is, but she's from the Midwest. She's got a funny Midwest accent. Uh, a fun Midwest accent, and I have a lot of family from the Midwest, like Michigan area, and you hear a few of the uh, a few of the sayings that I grew up hearing all the time. So that's fun. I'm a sports card fan, so I, I'll enjoy watching like sports card breaks. I'm. But I always thought, hey man, it'd be really cool to have a channel where I looked for one, couldn't find one, where people draw and kind of Bob Ross it. How Bob Ross drew as fast as he drew on his portraits, painted on his portraits, I have no idea. If I can do half of what Bob Ross did in a video, that'd be great. I'm not finding the color that I want. See, now I'm gonna go more pink here. You can never have enough pink until you have too much. Testing out every single color uh, before I put it down. So this week I uh, will be doing, try to, try to do more face portraits around this. I'm working on some cool trading cards for eBay, which is the day job. I've got some comic commissions ahead of me to do. And I'll be doing some of these fun videos and seeing if I can get anything good out of them. I'll be learning editing, video editing. Guys have any uh, advice on like apps to use to get better video editing? Uh, if you have any kind of tips of what you kind of want to see or hear during these videos, please comment below. I want to definitely cater the, these videos towards the people who are spending time watching them and spending time drawing with me. If you guys follow me on Instagram and have reached out, I'm sure you know that I, I love talking art. There's no faster way to get me to. to respond to your question on a DM and then to start talking art with me and asking, you know, art advice.
Put that in there. And see, and this is where it helps to know kind of what you can blend out and knowing how it blends out and how it settles. You're already seeing that wild pink that I have uh, and that I threw down kind of settle out a little bit. But I just threw down that darkish magenta color and I know that it's not going to stay there. I know it's not, that it's good. One, it's going to be blended out and two, it's going to die down a little bit. It's going to be a little bit oh, seemingly wild with it, but you're not being wild with it. That's taking time with your markers and kind of getting into your markers a little bit. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use a uh, Copic called T-Rose. I'm probably going to regret doing that. Yeah, I'm going to regret doing that. I say cheat because I, I mean, I, I take serious the fact that um, Chroma has taken time to work with me on, on how to best make markers. and So I use them on almost every single thing that I do. Sometimes I use the, the colored pencils. Same way, I, I, I'm sponsored by Strathmore, uh, and I use almost exclusively uh, Strathmore boards with my uh, with the markers. I just find that the the Strathmore board takes the alcohol marker a little bit better. This is my process. I, I mean, I don't know how many of you have seen me draw the one or two times I've drawn live on uh, Instagram, but this is my process. I just kind of float around the face and just draw as much as I possibly can, fill in where I need to fill in. Um, I got this beard way too wispy over here. Uh, but I'll probably, with the hairs, uh, go in with a color pencil. You can, you can kind of more finely define those. a little bit. Mustachio. Um, just out of the nose over here. There's going to definitely be some white pen here. And I use the uh, Uniball Signo. Uh, you can get them at Michael's. And when I want to clean up areas like over here, uh, or you want to put like a sweat highlight, you can just do that. Kind of mess with it with your fingers. Uh, but I definitely have to clean up some things. So he's got a white highlight over here on his nose. And this should be very white down here too. It's actually blue. It has less of the white shine over here. And that's kind of, um, let's see. Let's pull out a neutral gray two. Yeah, kind of darkening the eyes over here. We don't want them to be as shiny as that. That'll add a little bit of depth. Some more gray one. Break out the W3, some more gray three on the beard. Going back to that next some more gray, there we go. See what I mean by when you can clean up a little bit with your prism colors is I'm gonna take this pink. And I'm gonna go in down here. And fill that in a little bit. Go in here a little bit. Mm 
I'll just play with colored pencils a bit. And then this is where I would take the chisel end. Kind of flatten that area out and blend it together. Kind of use it as a blender, even though it's not what that was made for. Pull that down and then go in with a little bit of white color pencil. And that's where I'm going to probably leave it for the night. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little while while I drew. We'll see where we go tomorrow on this portrait. Thank you for spending time with me again. Uh, check out Notch Culture Artist on Instagram if you haven't. Click like uh, and subscribe to this video if you get a chance and if you like it. And please leave a comment. I will respond to every comment that is left and have some fun art conversation with you. And I'll mention you on the next episode uh, more than likely. Thank you for taking time to spend time with me. It means a lot. It really does.